but uh, somebody had a couple wolves as pets, and they weren't supposed to. <laughs> and then they were confiscated, and he was born during this, this whole process, and he came in here at a, a couple weeks of age. Now, uh, because of the people that did have him, they bred him two different kinds of wolves, and, they, and we got Apache. Now, uh, next to Apache here is Lucas, and Lucas is um, going to turn 11 on April 27th, oh, and no. he's uh, Canadian for the Rocky Mountain Grey Wolf, and with this situation right here, if I'm feeding Lucas, watch Apache, look at that tail. You can notice that uh, his tail is raised just a little bit. Definitely showing his dominance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Lucas is the biggest wolf, weighs approximately 105, 110 pounds. Right. Now, this young lady here is oh. Kyla. Yeah. Oh, and Lucas is the beta. He's number two. Um, yeah. Uh, Kyla is uh, going to be bacon. 14 years old. Wow. That lady likes this bacon. Um, <laughs> it's bacon, yeah. Uh, uncured bacon. Um, Kyla's going to be 14 on May 1st. She's our oldest wolf. Um, she's Canadian in the Rocky Mountains. Weighs about 70 pounds. And in this pack, she's the Omega. She's the lowest ranked member of this pack. Um, now with most packs, you're going to have an alpha male and an alpha female if possible. Um, now we have a female in here, she's just not in that alpha role. But a couple things uh, dictate that. One, these guys are habituated to people in all different ways. They've all lost their fear. And a little less, a little more for some. Um, now if I put this bucket down, you'll probably watch Lucas in time. He's going to walk back to a place where he's comfortable. <laughs> Let me just check one more time. <laughs> now he's walking back. Um, but more importantly, these guys are all spayed and neutered. Uh, so they don't have all those hormones driving all of those <coughs> natural instincts and uh, and things like that. So, uh, yeah. <laughs>